Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're actually going to be taking apart my interior plastics and sending them off to get paint matched here locally in Dallas. So let's get to the process and removing them all and getting it all painted pearl white to match the exterior. So here's a little rundown on what we're actually going to be doing. I'm going to be taking all these gray pieces all the way around and on the steering wheel, the center console, the glove box, all these trim pieces we're going to be painting on pearl white. We're going to leave the polished overlay how it is on the AC vents and the trim on the glove box piece, but everything else we're going to be doing all white and the rear door handle is in front to match the exterior. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get all the door handle pieces off. So we're just going to stick our trim tool on the left side of it, get it behind it and get the first clips popped up. And then you're able just to stick your hands back there and almost pull it out by hand. Just snap right off four clips. Just going to get our tool right under there, pop up these clips. You can hear them start to snap off. Just get it all five off on the front, six actually. We're going to move on to the other side now. Right under the bottom there's a little spot slot right here to get it on tool under. I'm just going to bend it back and pull it by hand. Super easy. Move to the back door. Repeat the same process. Just like that, they're out. All four. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get the AC vents out. These ones also just pop out. So we're going to get up there and get those done. These ones we're just going to stick our trim tool right behind them and they also pop up. We just got to work it in there a little bit. And it'll start to unclip and then you can stick your hands behind. Just pop it off. Work it out. Sometimes the clips will pop off. You just have to pop them right back on like that, and then you're good. Be separating this gray piece. So you go on the back, and there's these clips all the way around the edge. You just have to press them out, lift them out, all, all five of them, I believe. And then you should just be able to start pulling it away. Wherever it gets stuck, you'll just release it. And that gets this whole stainless piece out, which you can just pull out like that. And then I'm just going to be painting just this piece all white. Get our fingers behind. Pop it off. And you can see that plug right there. This plug's gonna have a super small tab. So I'm gonna use this tiny trim tool right here. Press it in, release it. Just pull that sensor right out. And then you're good for this piece. We're gonna repeat the same process by pulling all these tabs off to separate the stainless around the edge. So it's super simple. You're just gonna pull back all these tabs while slowly lifting it up. Work your way around. Whichever ones hold, just go back to them. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain, but you just gotta work at it, work it out. That'll separate that AC vent, and the stainless piece will just lift right off, and then you're good to paint just this piece. This piece also will come off. All you gotta do, this piece also comes out right here. All you gotta do is press the two side clips in, and then lift out. You have to work it back and forth a little bit, and it'll separate easy like that. For this rear center piece, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift up on this front console, Set it out of the way. There's gonna be two Torx bolts right here. These two bolts right here are gonna be a Torx 20. So we're gonna go ahead and get a reducer and socket. Take these two off right here. Set the bolts aside. And this piece should just pop off. You have to work it a little bit around the edges. And then you're going to move on to this back side and we're going to go ahead and unplug all these sensors. It's easier if you pull all the other ones out than have room for this one. Just press that tab in and lift it out. And this whole panel piece is going to be free. And when they're painting this, they're just going to tape off this whole leather side and I believe we can, we're going to remove this part and the vents on the back by releasing these tabs and torque screws around the edges. It's a T15 as well. Four holding each vent. And then once you take those bolts off, that's going to remove that vent assembly. You just set it aside. 
that's going to remove that AC vent assembly, set that one aside. Then we're going to go ahead and just pop this center console piece back in for the meantime until we get the trim back from paint. The next piece we're going to do is actually going to be the glove box. We're just going to pop it open. There's going to be three Torx screws underneath. We're just going to reach down there and pop each of those off. These are also going to be Torx 15 screws. Once you pop those threes off, this piece will just fully un untouch. That one's ready for paint. And then for the meantime, I'm just going to put these screws back too so we don't lose them. Just going to start them back in their place. Next pieces we're going to go ahead and do are these other two AC vents. But first off, we're going to have to remove this front part and then pull off the radio. So what we're going to do here. We're going to lift up this little speaker cover, try and get our trim tool underneath it, and this one also just pops up. We have popped on the one side, and then lift on the other side, and on the back there's going to be some clips too. Just work with your hand out. It's going to pop right out. Four clips. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is get these two bolts off. They're both going to be seven millimeters. I'm just going to stick my impact back there, lift both of them out. Pull them out by hand. Get our trim tool underneath. Pop these front clips off. Give me one on the right side. Then we're gonna work our way over. Get the one on the left side popped up. And then center. And this piece will lift up. I'm just place it to the side for now because it's connected with a sensor on the back. I'm gonna move up to these front two bolts. They should also be seven millimeters. Just gonna unscrew those real quick. Just set them aside. And this radio is gonna pop forward. You're just gonna work with it and this trim will pop up now you're gonna have room to pull all these AC vents off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna stick our hand behind them and start pulling them back with this all those clips now it'll pop them out and then you're gonna have to go down here on the bottom work your way down Stop recording. Go ahead and unplug these sensors real quick so I have a little bit more room to work with One on the right side, just an easy little tab. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug these sensors behind. Right side one is just a tab, and that pops off. Left side one's going to be the same thing, it's just a little bit smaller. Push it in from the side. Fine, don't record this. Lifting up on its corners. And the front parts. This passenger side trim piece off. I went ahead and took out the 12 volt and the AC power and just put it back in, plugged it in. So we're gonna go on to this driver side piece now. Then we're gonna move over to the steering wheel piece. This one I'm just gonna get the little help up here with the trim tool. And get it started, popped off. Work my arms behind it, slowly pull it off. Then I'm going to pop off this side piece over here. After we lean it back a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and unclip these sensors. And that AC vent's going to be free. 
and that's going to separate that whole piece. And just like the other polished piece will separate. I'm going to go ahead and plug back in the four wheel drive connector and just stick it up out of the way. Moving on to the center console, we're just going to go ahead and lift up the rest of it, and slide it back, make sure you clear on the cup holders. And there's going to be a main connector underneath here. Let me shine some light so y'all can see it. So on the underneath side, there's going to be two harnesses going to the lights, I believe, for the cup holders. We're just going to go ahead and reach down here lower and unconnect it with one connector rather than unconnecting those two. And that's going to wrap that up for the bottom on that side. And then over here on this side for the key sensor detector, we're going to go ahead and actually unscrew these so it can still sense our key. And we're going to leave it down here in the console. And do that one as well. Make sure you don't lose the screw. Pick it up. And then we're just going to leave this unit down here so our key is still detected. If you if you don't keep that plugged in, you'll get in your truck and it'll say key not found. So you just want to make sure you keep that little module right there connected. Then we're just going to go ahead and lift this assembly out. Close our console. This is how it's going to look with everything all disconnected. Then we're going to go ahead and go on to this back side and unscrew all these torque screws on the back to separate the console cup holders from the plastic piece we're wanting to paint. They're all going to be T20s as well. I'm just going to impact all these off real quick. And that's going to release this cup holder assembly off of the plastic. And that's going to free up this whole assembly. It's just going to lift right off. We're going to set it aside. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slap the radio back up. Start these two bolts. Keep everything in place while we send all the parts off to paint so we don't lose anything. Again, these are 7 millimeters. You don't got to put those in too tight. It'll be good just like that. We're going to clip this front piece back in. Be two more seven millimeters on that back side. Run them down. Grab the audio cover. Just tap it in. That's going to be good for that. All right, guys. This last piece I'm going to go ahead and get out is actually this middle center piece for the steering wheel. What you got to do on this one is get a pick or a small screwdriver through here. There's going to be a tiny little metal clip. You're just going to press it in and slowly apply some pressure out here. Once you press in both sides, the airbag will retract back and then you're just going to go ahead and pop out the trim around here and get it through. So let's show you that real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and start popping it off, releasing the clips all the way around. You actually don't have to unplug the airbag. You can just slide it through if you go at an angle like this. As you can see, I'm just going to slide it back through back side and then we're going to unclip these sensors to the steering wheel controls. Now that we have the piece out I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. There's going to be some T10 screws all the way around to release these buttons off of the back. So we're just going to undo those real quick. Okay guys I just got the four screws off the one side. That's just going to pop right out. Set that aside. I also got the four screws off the other side. Just going to lift it out. Now if you turn the piece over, you can see it's all ready for paint now. And the tiny screws, I'm actually going to go ahead and you can either set them aside, just make sure you don't lose them, or you can thread them back into the holes. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Then we got all our pieces off for paint. Everything is stripped down and ready to go. And then what I go ahead and do in the meantime is I'll actually plug these sensors back in. If you're using your vehicle, and just shove them onto the side of the steering wheel so they kind of stay. And also before y'all go ahead and do that uh, steering wheel, I will make sure to disconnect the battery so the horn doesn't go off while you're doing it and just so nothing happens with the airbag or anything, then you'll be good to go. Just picked up all the pieces from paint. They came out perfect, look super clean, no contamination or anything in the paint, super glossy and smooth. Check that out. 
Just got all the pieces back to the truck. I'm just gonna go ahead and install these door handles first. So let's get them popped in. For simple for these, you're just gonna slide the front end in first, or the back end in, and you're just gonna start clipping it in. Easy as that. Look how clean that came out. Paint match is absolutely perfect, super glossy. Looks amazing. On to the passenger side, we're gonna repeat the same process. Slide this little back clip in the back groove and just clip it in. Easy as that. Shine on these pieces came out awesome. Very happy with them. On to the rear piece. On to the rear main console. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is pop it back up and off. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these AC vents back into the rear slots on the underside, which was held by those T20, I believe, screws. So let's get those taken off and put those AC vents back on. Slide the vents in just like this and put, put the screws back on. Simple as that. Onto the last screw for this vent. And it's all secured now. All eight screws, four on each side, and the vents are in. The thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to remove the two screws that hold in that console piece. Put them down by the side. Then we're going to start plugging all these sensors back in on the back side of our piece. So I'll get back to you once I get all these plugged in. Now that all our plugs are plugged back in, we're just gonna go ahead and lift the panel, center it out. You can see these clips along the bottom side. I'm just gonna start sliding those all in. And press underneath, pop it in. Four clips. And then we're gonna start these screws into the panel. On each side. I'm gonna grab the impact, slowly just bottom them out. Don't gotta be too tight. Just enough to hold the piece in place. I'm gonna slap back on the center console piece. On top, clip it in. That back piece is good to go. I'm gonna center these out. I'm gonna have to give it a wipe down here in a second. A little dirty. Super clean look. Next piece I'm gonna go ahead and do is gonna be this front, left, driver side, AC vent. First step we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna slide our chrome trim piece down and in. And then we're good to put our AC vent over it. This one's going to be this piece. Make sure to turn it over. Make sure it all lines up around through the clips. And then we're going to slide this AC vent piece down into all those clips all the way around. And then it's secured. We're good to press it in. This one also has a sensor, so I'm just going to unplug it from the front. I'm just going to press it in right here. Clip it in. We're going to plug the sensor into the harness and press this whole piece in. So first things first, I'm going to plug the sensor piece into the back. Make sure it's all clipped in. After we got the sensor all plugged in, we're just going to line it all up and clip the AC whole vent piece in. And that piece is complete. Check that out. Right next to my Switch Pros panel. repeat the process with the passenger side smaller vent panel flip it around slide our chrome trim into place now that we got the clips all secured all the way around we're gonna go ahead and press this piece in and install it onto this passenger side we're just gonna get the clips all lined up make sure everything's good this one doesn't have a sensor or anything pop it in place just like that we're good to go Onto the glove box piece, there's going to be three screws underneath. We're going to go ahead and push this up in on there. 
I'm gonna get the screws started and we're gonna tighten them up. I'll get back to y'all. Just got all three bolts snugged down. I'm gonna get it closed. Super clean look. Check that out. Went ahead and popped the front panel back off. I'm gonna get the center console radio. Two bolts off now. I'm gonna pull this trim piece up. radio slide forward just so we have a little bit more room to work with when putting these other eight two AC vents in so let's get to those as you can see on the rear we got these six bolt holes or screw holes on the back of this panel so we're gonna flip it over and get all those screws put in just got all the screws in all the way around we're gonna go ahead and plug in this light cup harness with the cup holders into down there we're gonna snap it all in just got it plugged in down there now we're just gonna center it all off you have your glove box open all evened out. I'm gonna start setting those clips in there all the way around. And this piece is in place. We just got the right side all pressed in. I'm gonna move on to the driver's side now. It's all matching up super perfect. It's gonna look amazing. The driver's side piece, we're gonna go ahead and put in the polished piece first. And then the AC vent, just like all the others. The reinstall process is a lot easier and less time consuming. If you're doing this for yourself, it only takes a little bit to first remove it all and get all the clips up. Other than that, reinstalling is just a breeze. Especially since you already know how to take everything off. It'll make it super easy. Check that out. We're going to get all the four-wheel drive switch positioned up in there. Set it down in place. Now we're good to install this side. Let's press it in. So a little tip on these AC vent pieces. You're going to work your way from the bottom up. You can pull this piece back for a little bit extra room. Then you're going to start sliding in. Make sure you're behind the radio. Then once you get it all pressed in, we're going to be good to set the radio back in place. Make sure it's behind all these trim. And it clips in well. Now that I got all the AC vents pressed in, I can go ahead and lay this console all the way down now. I'm going to press it forward, get it aligned straight, and slid it behind those AC vents. Might have to do a little pushing. And it'll set all nice down on those clips all the way around. That's good to go. I'm going to put back down in these center console koozies. Check that out. Now we're just going to grab the impact 7mm, get this radio back secured. Then we can slap down this whole center piece. Still got it plugged in, just make sure you're all plugged in. Front two clips, and then the rear is going to be two bolts. I'm going to go ahead and get those tightened down real quick. And then we're going to slap on that cover and we'll be good. It's got the two bolts all in, now we're just going to put the little Sony cover on. That's all said and done. Now we're going to move on to the steering wheel piece. We're going to have to pop off the airbag again. And put that trim piece in there. On to the last screw of this assembly. We're going to get it all tightened up. These ones, just bottom them out and you'll be good. There's four on each one. Now we're going to go ahead and get it slid through the airbag and all plugged in. We're going to clip it back in place. So without unplugging the airbag, you're just going to slide it through the plastic piece sideways like this. And it's going to get pressed all the way through, so I'll get back to y'all here in a second. Just got the airbag through the whole assembly. Now we're going to go and plug these controls in, for the steering wheel controls, to the sensors. I just got the, I just got the sensors all plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and now line up this trim piece. Each side has the little holes in front. I'm just going to press those through slowly. Make sure everything gets all pressed in correctly. Watch the lower half too. Press it in. You'll hear the clip start to go in. Lock in place. And then we're good to set the bag up evenly. Pop it in. And before removing all this bag and everything, you're going to have the battery disconnected. That's why it's not going off. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook up the battery back. 
and we are set. That's going to finish it off for this install. Everything came out absolutely amazing. I'm going to give you a little walk around here in a second. So let's go check it out. It's raining out, so I'm going to give you one last look at the interior. Check out how clean all this came out. Looks absolutely insane. I love how the white old came out. Perfect matching to the exterior. Got the rear console all done up too. And the back doors. Everything's matching amazing. Let me know what y'all think. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video, comment what you think about the interior and how it turned out. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. And other than that, y'all all have an amazing day and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.